All right, here's the big reveal. As I said in my first video, I had done some training videos for electricity and magnetism, and I'd been contacted by a large group of people who were virulent in their attacks that I was a tool of the academic society and being used by the government to suppress the free flow of information about free energy that was available. And uh, they didn't just ask questions about the physics, but they questioned my integrity. So here I am. Uh, this was my response to them, uh, to create a perpetual motion machine. The idea being that they are so eager to believe that it's real, that I can take uh, a couple of Legos and an uh, old part from a washing machine and, uh, and build a perpetual motion machine. Here's the basic premise. The magnets on this wheel would go by uh, these little inductor coils, and the inductor coils would, uh, um, a little bit of electricity would be induced, it would open up the base of a transistor, and due to back EMF, it would produce a, a negative uh, magnetic field, which would push the magnet uh, on to the next one, and so on, and develop torque. Now, a number of people asked me questions about this little motor thing, uh, and I had these little wires here to kind of kind of trick you. Um, but let me show you what's underneath. In fact, the motor is attached to a wire. The wire goes to a little capacitor, a little diode in the way, and the capacitor is what feeds these two generators. These two coils are fed by the capacitor. So uh, this little motor acts as a generator creating electricity uh, during the entire spin of the wheel. It goes to charge the capacitor and it only uh, draws from the capacitor at that brief instant when the magnet is passing the coil. So it charges over a long period of time, discharges shortly, and that's how it operated 